Welcome to the 2023 NRL Final Series. And don't we have a good one to get things underway tonight. The Broncos in the storm and a month-long roller coaster ride starts now. Enjoy your journey on the home of NRL Finals Footy Nines Wide World of Sports. Tui Kamakamita hit hard. Jordan Ricky in the tackle for Brisbane. Adam Reynolds there as well. Yeah, King. Taken by Carrigan and Haas. Still inside their own 20, Melbourne. And there's a little bit of to and fro between Carrigan and Grant. Two Origin teammates. Four. Two is well, Paddy didn't like something there, and he, I think he started throwing them. And then Harry chipped in with a couple. <laughs> well, Pat Carrigan, he's come out of the line and he's trying to make a, a big, big shot, a big contact, which is fair game. And then Harry Grant, I think a couple of the Melbourne Storm players just held him out of returning back to the defensive line. You just see him, yeah, Munster's in there, no surprise. Just stirring him up a little bit, not letting him go. Play the ball then, here, tackle there they four, are, wait the one Queensland second. teammates. Wait one second. I think Harry can try to, he tried to uh, grab a hold of that little ponytail, I think. No more of that. Right, no more. Well handled by the ref. Said all good boys, just play on. You too. Time on, hold. Go. So it is simply play on. The hero hits solidly. Jerome Hughes kicking from inside his 30. In a tricky take. Cobbo Great took hands. it well. Great hands. Yeah, that was a floating. He was put under pressure, Jerome Hughes, with that kick, and he got away. It was a floating spiral. Cobo did well to maintain possession. Flegler on the halfway line. Welts in the tackle. King there also. Haas. Two minutes into this qualifying final, the first of four games for you across the opening weekend of NRL Finals, Carrigan tackled. 32 away from the storm line, it's the last, Reynolds. Hoist that one high, here's a test, and Jerome Hughes takes that one well. Bam took his legs away from him. Nowhere to go for Hughes. Warbrick. What a terrific opening season the NRL Will Warbrick has had. It's a good form too. One of those players rested last week. He's playing his first final tonight. On their own 30 now, the Melbourne Storm. There is plenty of noise around Suncorp Stadium as Meany plays it. On the last, Munster from inside the 40. Cobbo. Tackled by Tonema Paya. He was one of those leading the charge along with King and Liero. As the rain starts to fall at Suncorp Stadium, let's take your sideline. Darren Lockie, evening Lockie. Evening Salty, yeah, the rain was a cell just to the north of us, so we're getting the edge of it. I don't think we'll see too much more rain than what we're getting right now. But the pitch is fast, it's firm, and there's a little bit of a breeze behind the Broncos, 21 degrees, and the crowd, the atmosphere here is amazing. Uh, it's going to be an epic game. Sure will. Yeah, the way those storm cells went to the west of Brisbane this afternoon. Good hands, Adam Reynolds. Thought we are going to have a wet and wild night tonight. This is a wild one for Meany. He's had an air swing, has he? No, he got a touch to knock on. Yeah, the crowd love it, Salty. They're all out of their seats. A lovely kick by Adam Reynolds. He didn't do a whole heap with it. He just hoiked it as high as he could off his right boot. Bang, you see the rain falling. He gets a real good piece of it. Kicks it out of the belly of the ball. And then Nick Beanie looked like he lost sight of it right at the end. What a golden opportunity now what for a, the Broncos. Fan. What a tough one to try and catch. The rain's coming down in your eyes. The ball's wobbling all over the place. He didn't whinge about it. He just got a touch. So I'm just going to try and hold out here the storm. 
Grace Walsh. 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 And they almost dragged him to the line. Towards the sideline as well. Tonema to Payer in the tackle. Set restart Brisbane. Munster's there. Trying to get under the skin of Walsh. Walters to Carrigan. Carrigan tackled by Wells, Green and King. Walters to dummy half. Walters! Tried to catch them napping, but the Storm defence is awake to it. Walsh to Carrigan. Carrigan, lovely pass. Reynolds sizes up out wide, puts a kick in, and it's taken by Waldrick left behind him. Offside. They're, oh, they took him in the air, I think. Took him in the air. Yeah, penalty Melbourne. Wow, well, that's a good little play, wasn't it, by the Bronx? It all seemed to be going pretty quiet, and then that little left footer, Kristen Welsh having a wings to the ref about something. Look at this for a skill from Adam Reynolds. Fantastic. And yeah. then they, what, tackled him in the air. Yeah, Judge Jesse, Jesse Arthur's there. Well, he said he tackles him in the air just right there, which causes Warbrick to lose the football. But great skill by Adam Reynolds. That was a left footer. That was a non-preferred kick on the money. 12 of the 17 Broncos players tonight having their first taste of finals footy, and they'll be liking wow. the opening couple of minutes. They might challenge this. I think they might say that there was interference on the ground. I'm not sure if they will challenge, but there was a Broncos player playing on the deck. Doesn't look like a challenge. They just missed time this one, Fatty. A little bit of rush of blood between Harry Grant here. Where he just had to change his pass a little bit to avoid Herbie Farnworth, which meant Katoa overran the football. Coach, he seems okay. He's not too flustered yet. What's happened to Craig? We don't see him getting up and down and storming out the back and anymore. He's, he seems to be quite cool these days. <laughs> He's mellowed a bit. Farnworth. Brisbane being camped down Melbourne's end of the field in the opening minutes. Can they turn this pressure into points? Walters tries his luck down the short side. They're back to the centre of the ground. Haas. Ten away from the line. Walters goes short to Carrigan. Carrigan wrapped up. Hero in the tackle along with Grant. Reynolds. Walsh on the bounce. Laid off load. Farnworth. Just get off. Herbie will play it. 12 away from the line. Flegler. Reynolds. Reynolds, lovely pass. Stags beats one, beats two, beats three, four of them, and opens the scoring. Katoni Stags with a beauty. Yeah, what a set play that was by the Broncos. Lovely use of the football as well, particularly in these conditions. The, the football's got to be quite greasy. There was a wide shift to their right-hand side. Harvey Norman replay. Well, that's Tommy Flegler right in the middle there. But just that little sh little show from Adam Reynolds with Jordan Ricky dropping off underneath just held up the defence. And what they're aiming for there, it was to get Katoni Staggs one-on-one -on -one with young Tonema Paya. And Katoni Staggs, this is the situations he loves. Just watch there. Right foot step, beats his man, bend into Cameron Munster's chest. Too strong. Yeah, outstanding play. He beat four of them there, Katoni Staggs. What a player he is. And the fan cam has gone off. The Telstra fan cam. There it is. The crowd's gone nuts. He's got a good set of guns on him as well, Katoni. But you know, that, there was four missed tackles in that. That defence is not... I know they've had a, been under a lot of pressure, the storm, but... That was all Katoni Staggs on his own with power and pace and the great right foot step. There's one miss. Munster has a crack. Gone. Coates gone. And then Meany, just too powerful. Well done, Katoni. Adam Reynolds. Oh, swings back beautifully.
everyone. Wait for the kick. First blood of the Broncos. Here's the Broncos coach, Kevin Walters. No doubt, very happy with his team start. Now, Flegler. Lockie, down to you. Well, a lot of talk about the Hoodoo going into this game. They need to get away to a good start. The Broncos they had a lot of possession. And good ball there. So, for their own confidence, it's good to get some points. They just need to get to their kick off this set. First time playing in a home final for Brisbane since 2018. Haven't won a home final since 2017. And here's a penalty. It's all Brisbane early. Brent Atkins running out of patience. Behind the line! And I, and I like that. Back. Rather than just give a six again, no, if it deserved a penalty, we'll give it. Capewell. Katoa Hughes in the tackle, along with Seve. Flegler. The standing start gets the legs pumping almost to the 20. Kamakamitha down low. Welsh in there as well as King. And the Haas. Brisbane looking for their second try. Carrigan. He's lost it. Liero's got it for the storm. It ends up dangerous, mate. Dangerous tackle according Harry. to the referee. Now they go. Come on, boy, settle down. Go away. Go away. Former teammates. Well, Melbourne just hanging on. Uh, pass that went awry. And then just lifted him. No, not, look, nothing too dangerous really in that. Pretty soft. But Melbourne Storm have not had the ball in the Broncos half yet. So this will be their first chance. He's kicked that out. He's made about three metres. <laughs> As the rain gets heavier at Suncorp. Ball of Hells. And Seve will play it. Grant the dummy half. Katoa. Five short of halfway. Grant to Hughes. Now Munster with one of his customary dummies. Well, the call of Held came as he passed the ball, so Munster to play it. Halfway through the set. Have a Kamita. The tall Fijian. Well, feels off the feet of Seve. He regathers. Last play. Hughes. Hoist that one high. It's going to be Cobo for Brisbane. Oh, two of them went for the same ball. It was knocked back, though. Yeah, they quite fortunate there for the Broncos. Two players went up for that football, but it was knocked backwards. Cobo died on the loose ball. They're just getting under the skin of the Melbourne Storm a little bit at the moment. There it is there in the bottom right of the screen. Ooh. A little knock on there by Cobbo first, but yeah, they're Ooh. playing physical, the Broncos, and they're getting under the skin a little bit of the Melbourne Storm. Haas getting up towards the halfway line. There's a couple of those tackles in the effects, Mike. Reynolds testing out Meany, who attacks that ball. And he's going to be driven into the turf eventually. Mam and Capel in the tackle. You can see the Brisbane game plan. It's Haas, Flegler and Carrigan. Haas, Flegler, Carrigan. And on the back of that, they're doing some good things. Some good field position here for Melbourne. Two tackles left in the set. Katoa playing it. Munster, drilling that one down the corner, wants it to sit up, it does, it's a beauty, Cobbo's taken, and that is a magnificent play by Go Cameron on. Munster, the Melbourne number six. Oh, that's a big play by a big game player, Cam Munster, 
He's seen the opportunity. Selwyn Cobo up. So he kicks it low and flat, uses that greasy surface of the Suncorp Stadium track to skid the ball on. And what a chase there by Xavier Coates. He knew he had one of the fastest wingers out there to chase that ball. Big play, Melbourne Storm. Oh, hang on. The drop out. Goes in the hats. What a kick out of Reynolds. Wow. Well, we've just spoken about big play from a big game player. Adam Reynolds take a bow. All the storm now waiting for that short dropout as we see pretty much every every time. Look how he whacks his ball. Bang. He's put that inside the Melbourne Storm half there for a turnover. It's a scrum Broncos. Incredible play, Adam Reynolds. You know what? He, he's a big match player. Let's go. And he started in great Let's vein go. tonight. That's as good a play as you'll see tonight, that one. Hold! Hold! Right. Farnworth. Herbie Farnworth. Tackle by Munster. And Liero. Ricky. Kamakamita in the tackle. Ronald King and Grant. Carrigan. Man plays in motion, lovely ball. It was a good tackle there on Staggs. He's gone out to the left for Tony Staggs. Now, Flagler running onto this ball. Well read, Tui Kamakamita. Walters to Man. Man kicking, it's off Hughes' legs and he cleans it up. Tackle one there, you're held, ball's on the ground. Tackle one. This has been a blitz by the Brisbane Broncos. They're just running so hard and straight, and then when it gets out wide, the backs are playing with plenty of penetration. Oh, and they're defending quite well. That was a beauty from Flegler. Now Munster, they're looking to shift here, Melbourne. The arrow. Now Kamakamita. Tackle by Flegler and Ricky. Lorraine very steady now. Hughes from inside the 40. Kicking to Cobbo. Beats one. Well, tackle one, they're on their own 30, Brisbane. Reese Walsh. Up to the markers, had their backs turned. He helps himself to about 12 metres. But then makes a mistake. Now, is this a plant? Hey, it's a ball. I'm going to rule a ball plant first. Though. Yeah, no, ball no, plant. No, 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 all over it. Oh, it's a ball plant first. I'm putting my foot yeah. right. I'm not losing control. Tackle two. All right, Bronk, the captain's challenge. Bucky, I'm going to tackle two. On field ruling of a ball plant. And then, lo and then not wow. an acceptable play the ball because of the ball plant. Reese Walsh places the ball on the ground when his knee is still on the ground, which is a ball plan. He then also fails to play the ball with any balance and control. The challenge is unsuccessful. Wow. So no more challenge for the Broncos early days. Yeah, you, Lockie. It's a ball plan for us. Yeah, just watching Katani Staggs and Herbie Farmer, they've gone back over the other side to the natural sides now, but I think it must be a deliberate play. I haven't seen it before, but I wouldn't be surprised when they get the ball, the Broncos, the Katani Stags. We'll go over to that left again. I think you're supposed to stand up too before you play the ball, aren't you? Which you didn't do. Yeah. So that's that rule planning the football on the ground before you've risen to your feet. So oh, both feet. Okay. Has that rain, Lockie, going away? That, it's not far away, trust me. The cell is to the north. We, we, we missed the worst of it, trust me. He, he feels sorry for you. Melbourne, big opportunity for the Storm. Hughes, now Seve. That's a good tackle, Farnworth. Man helped finish it off, but Farnworth very good there defensively. Hughes drifting, goes to Welts. Christian Welts. Inside Brisbane's 20, go the Melbourne Storm. Two tackles left in this set. Hughes. 
Hamakamita. Last play. Grant. Munster. Kicks for Xavier. And that's off Selwyn Cobbo. He's an escort. Like yeah, Tony penalty. Staggs. You run him off the ball. I think, Bucky, can you just confirm where the ball lands if it's in goal or just yeah, in front? Was, well, they, they're aiming there for Xavier Coates. One of the best leapers of in the game for the football. And you just see him there just taken away from the opportunity of catching the ball. Yeah, I think it was uh, Staggs that yeah. escorted him out of the play. Grant with the tap, goes to Liero. Flegler and Carrigan in the tackle. Melbourne building. King. Plays the ball, five away. Grant to Munster, short, they put it down. Melbourne oh, make another the error. On. Last touch is Broncos. No, 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 stop. What does it say? What is it? It's not. No, because it last touches you blokes before it goes dead, okay? So we can't go out there because we've got a bloke here that touches it and goes dead off you. Well, in these conditions, is, oh, yeah, just a pressure pass from Munster. He played short to Kamika Mitha, but he fired it at him at sh from short range. And you see him there just. Come on, Cam, watch your passes. Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 20 plus years. This is footy country. Get down, come on. Head down, stay there. Hold. Hold. Herbie Farnworth on his own 20. And pushed over as he went up to play the ball. Penalty Brisbane. Hey, Have you get huge weekend of NRL finals on nine double header tomorrow afternoon. You can see all the confirmation of it in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Sharks v Roosters. That game tomorrow night, by the way, the winner of that game will play the loser of this game in week two of the finals. Reynolds the flag line. That's a good wow. tackle. Come come Pass. Very in the goals. Threatening oh, to right. break the line. Walters. Shrugging away from a couple of defenders. Carrigan. Oh. Oh. Walters. And lovely ball to Herbie. Farnworth. Farnworth. Brisbane centres are having a field day early. Last play. Man with a kick. It's for Ricky. Bats it back. Stakes has got it. He's going to be tackled. That'll be a changeover. Wait. Oh, they barely, they barely got away with that one. The Melbourne Storm. Katoni Stags again, jumping on a loose ball. A one on one opportunity. Solid defence. Oh, wait! Nice and hooped on the field. Mike Bellamy's gone to his bench. Mr. Welsh off the field. Hughes. Paid off! Yeah. Melbourne, eight short of halfway. King tackled by Walters and Carrigan. Grant. Last play, Melbourne. Meany to dummy half. Munster. Kicks that one high, end over end. And lands for Ross. And Reese Ross is going to be tackled, and it's a penalty. Time off, it's a high tackle. Wow, we've got a high, Cameron high Munster, tackle. Cameron Munster, high tackle at the moment. Cameron Munster. But what about the play? Go back. Oh, that was, in, that was intentional. It was, yeah. Mid air. By Farnworth. Yep. And there's young Tom Lapia. He's got a lot of blood streaming from his forehead. This is the high contact. 
not a whole heap in that. No, please. That, it's a semi final. That's as soft <laughs> as a two minute egg. <laughs> well, not it just it was he didn't even swing his arm. I mean turn that up. Yeah, we just seen earlier, I think uh young Tom Bapia copped a was it a, a knee from Walsh or A young Tottenham player looks like he's coming from the field and could well be seeing number 17 come on in Ryan Pappenhausen. Yeah, it might be uh, might be Meany maybe onto the wing and coach into the centres. Who knows? But uh, Pappy looks like he'll go on. Lockie. Yeah, just watching them formation here. It looks like Nick Meany is in the front line. Pappenhausen out the back. But he's going to play left centre, so he'll have a fair task in front of him, Nick Meany, up against Katani Staggs. So Ryan Pappenhausen enters the fray in the 24th minute. Reynolds, Walsh to Haas, and Haas tackled just beyond the halfway line. Carrigan tries to put on a step. Eisenhuth holds on, drags him to the ground. Pass, passing the man. Hughes was up there quickly, along with Kamikamitha. Brisbane building again. Flegler. Throws it out the back. It's play on here for Brisbane. Reynolds has it. Take a by Munster. Carrigan. Well short ball, there's a high tackle, is it? They put it down anyway. No, it wasn't, it was around the throat. Kurt Capewell just couldn't hang on to that one. Geez, they're playing good, Brisbane. They're playing with an intensity of a semi-final game. Oh, and a penalty goes against it, but they're playing as good as I've seen them all year. They are, they've, they've flown out of the box, haven't they, Fatty? Here's that shot, I think it's Kamika Mitha. He comes across field and just hits him right across the chest and knocks the ball loose. But... And, and the crowd's booing this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's just a great hit. But they have the Broncos. They've flown out of the blocks. They're full of energy, full of running. They're a big, powerful side. We all know that. Just for the Melbourne Storm, they just... It's been all the Broncos, but they've just got to hang in here. They've got to hang in, hang in. They've copped a lot of punishment with and without the football. Come away with some points in this set. They might create some doubt. By the rain sea, so Danica's taken her place on the sideline. You got some breaking news for us, Danica? Yes, young Tottenham Paye has gone off for that nasty cut to his head, but he's also gone off for a head injury assessment. It has been classified as a Category 2, so he'll be going through the protocol over the next 15 minutes. Eisenhuth now, Brit Melbourne inside Brisbane's 20. Nelson Osama Solomona making an impact with his first touch. That's a beautiful ball. Munster got on the outside of his man. Now Xavier Coates for the corner, he's in. There's a try to Melbourne. Coates is in in the corner and the Storm hit back. And that's just pure power by Xavier Coates. They're going to have a look at it. Go okay, Coming into tackle five. The Melbourne Storm players are Grab confident a no try. that he's got there. We review the grounding whether it shifts as he puts it down. I no think he might have lost it. Adam Reynolds coming is into there. Five. Billy Wallace comes in, Farnworth's there. Lost it. He's just looking to see if Xavier Coates maintains possession all the way to the ground. I think he's lost this, Fatty. Mm. Well, here we go. This will show us. This will show us. I think he's lost it. It's quite possible, but if he loses into his chest and grounds it with his Torso. I, th I think it's this view here. All the Broncos players are making a tackle. The ball comes out of the grip of Xavier Coates and he knocks it on. We have a decision. OK, well, all good. Great defence by the Broncos. Again. That was Tom, Tom, scrambling defence. It's something that's been a big part of their game Nelson, this year. But Nelson. That play, 
Zero coming. It was created by the charge from Point Nelson, the Sofa Solomon. He's just oh. come on the field. This entire first half, it's been Carrigan, it's been Flegler, Harry it's been Haas. Now the Storm oh. have got their own big man. Sopa Solomona, just saw a shot of him on the on the ground. Making impact early. Reynolds are up on Reynolds quickly. Well, they've done that twice now, Soldy. Cam Munster on this left, and Jerome Hughes on the right. They've rushed out at both Reynolds and Man to shut down that that shift. Walters to Haas. Oh, he really wipes up there. And he gets a pass to Capewell. And that is a terrific tackle. Jerome Hughes, a beauty. Ben on the last. Puts it high. It's a little contest. Xavier Coates takes it well. Look out. Xavier over the 20 and gets to the 30. Pops a dangerous pass to Pappy. And Pappenhausen is ragged onto the ground by Ezra Mann. And it's a penalty, Melbourne. <laughs> and the crowd. Oh, this is fantastic. Tackles on the this ground. Is Come brilliant. on, you don't release. Oh, it's so good to be it. here. This is a, as good a game, like, what are we, nearly 30 minutes in as I've seen all season. Yeah. And these are the games that the players love to be a part of. Big crowd, big atmosphere. As a Storm player, these are, you're going to relish this opportunity. Very few Storm... <laughs> fans in the crowd tonight. It's all Broncos. They're here for the Broncos to watch them walk around with a victory at the end. They're going to use this to energise themselves. Melbourne warming to the task. Hughes. Well, I got that one wrong. Grant. Sol Solomona. Try tackling that. Grant will play it to Eisenhut. Hughes. Pappenhausen. He threw a dummy, but Capewell wasn't having any of it. Last play, they go down the short side. Katoa. Pops a pass. Seve. Warbrick. He's been kept quiet. Gets a pass to Pappenhausen. Pappy will be tackled. That's a changeover. That's good. Good football from both footy sides. The Storm, they they chanced their arm on the last tackle. They went for that right-hand corner. But the Broncos' defence oh. held up once again. Oh. This is good work by the Storm, though. They're just applying pressure to the Broncos, keep asking the questions. They have to keep turning up. Lockie? It, they're doing well to hang in the Storm and apply pressure, but equally the Broncos' defence on their goal line. We know that's what wins the big games, but big... 11 minutes coming up, going into half-time here. Palacia, tight bound in 2024. Another one of the many Broncos in their first finals appearance. Tonight is a kick from inside the 40 by Billy Walters. What's the bounce going to do? Pappenhausen, he got there, set up nicely for him. Hex two on Pappenhausen. Coates. Tackled on his own 30. Hughes. Jerome Hughes. Hughes, one of the store players in the lineup tonight. It was part of their last premiership in 2020. Man, Ryan Pappenhausen, one of them. The others, Cameron Munster, Christian Wells, and Sofa Solomona. Good take by Wells. Under pressure. Actually, just on that Melbourne 2020 Premiership side. Some small stinging defence. Six still inside the squad. Nine at other clubs. There's one, Suliasi Vinavalu, who's with the Wallabies. And another bloke, Paul, who's sitting with us as Brisbane 
get a penalty. Not you. No, 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 no. Not you on the ground. He's holding his quickly. legs. That's Billy Slater here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> now we're lucky to have the goat uh, in our in our box. Wow, I, I'm enthralled with this match. It's just outstanding rugby league. It's everything you hope for as, as a coach, as a spectator, as a commentator, Salt. Look at Payne Haas, metres gain. 103, it's not even half time. He's a beast. Strong defence on Pulisia. Hedrington. Thirty away, Brisbane. Man, Carrigan. Little flick pass. Pull a seat to Ricky. Drink it out. Oh, oh. There's the Westpac red zone. Quite even. The play ball's inside twenty. Walsh, lovely ball, man. They put it down. Melbourne have got it. Katoa had Pappenhausen coming through. Here's a concern for Ezra Mampo. Just couldn't see him. Uh, he's back, Ezra Mam. He's a tough little budger. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Asafa Solomona. Nice. Edrington down low doing well. Eisen who? Melbourne getting good impact off their interchange forwards. Last play here. Munster just waited for the kick. And Cobo takes it magnificently. A seven tackle set coming for the Broncos. You cannot take your eyes off this contest. There's something happening pretty much every moment. The first 33 minutes have flown by. Pulisia. Hedrington, there's a run. Set restart, sliding it off Hedrington with a Melbourne storm. Brisbane with a fresh 10 of six. Walters playing the ball on tackle one. Reynolds to Carrigan. Now Hedrington. Carrigan. Good run, Paddy Carrigan. Thought about the offload. Reynolds arrived a second too late. Walsh. Walsh, look out. Two tackles left in the set. Cut that one up, forward pass out of dummy half. Boulders to Ricky. Again, they survived Duran. the Melbourne Storm. Yeah. A lot of fatigue out there from both In football sides. And just, just here, just Ricky just overran that football. Billy Walters feigned to go out to the left-hand side. he has got the timing all wrong. When he come back to his right. Jordan Ricky there, just a little bit upset with the with the area, it was a golden opportunity again for the Broncos gone begging. Yeah, I reckon even at this scoreline, if it's this at half time, Craig Bellamy's pretty happy because uh, Brisbane have had, look, most of the ball down in Melbourne's territory, but the storm have somehow hung on. Uh, Eisenhuth getting some attention there. Lockie. Oh, what Spat was saying there, I think what the coaches would be saying is ball control. I think that's that'd be the frustrating part for both coaches. They get themselves into good positions on the field and they undo it with a pass like that or a drop ball, push the pass. I just think both teams just need to be a bit more patient. That'll be the message at half time for both coaches. Seve's had some good touches. Right centre for Melbourne. Sims. Ten short of halfway. The Melbourne Storm. Grinding their way into the contest. 
The Sofa Solomona. Nice bit of footwork. No one there to offload the ball to. Munster. The arrow puts it down. Cobo. Cobo. Tangled by Sims. Danica, more breaking news. Some good news for the Melbourne Storm. Young Tonamapaya has passed his head injury assessment. He's just out here on the sideline. He does have his head ta taped up. Uh, that was that nasty cut he got by the boots of Bruce Walsh. But we're just wondering whether he will go back into the action straight away. And if so, whereabouts? But right now, he's just on the sideline. Four minutes left before half time. Brisbane 40 away from Melbourne's line. Carrigan to Hetherington. Hetherington tackled by Sofa Solomona over the top. The toe is underneath. Walters. Kick from Walters. It's for Cobo. It's down in the corner. What a great kick, Billy Walters. That's a beauty. Wonderful kick, Billy Walters. Great chase, too, from Katoni Staggs. I actually think this, this wasn't his first option. He was looking to have a run down this right hand side. But you see there, he's seen some space in behind the Melbourne Storm between Pappenhausen and Xavier Coates. Wonderful way to kick into the end goal. Just use, again, use that greasy service. A couple of skids on the ground. Great chase by Stags. Melbourne with the dropout. Oh, gone short and it's gone. Three rows back on the first bounce. Penalty Brisbane right in front. You take the two for sure. That's a gift. It's a gift. Now they've defended extremely well. They'll take the two. Six nil Brisbane about to become eight nil. Look at that. What a sight. A near capacity crowd at Suncorp Stadium. This is just the start of the finals. What a first half it has been. Two minutes before the break. Three more NRL finals to come across the weekend. We'll say goodbye to two teams come late Sunday afternoon. How good is September football? Finals football. We expected a lot tonight arriving here at Suncorp Stadium. It hasn't let us down. Brisbane up 8 0. Kill. Stay behind. Brisbane in front of the Melbourne Storm. It's got the makings of a contest. It's just going to go right down the wire. Keenan Polisia hit hard and driven back by Katoa and Sims. There's some strong storm defence. Into the final minute of the half. One, one word to describe this match so far. It's just magnificent. It's, I think it's the best game I've been to all year. And the, the crowd, they, they, no one's moving in the crowd. They're loving every second of it. Well, speaking of every second of it, Pat Carrigan's played every second of it. Playing the ball, 18 short of the halfway. Man, Brisbane trying to put a play on late in the half. He's the last. Yep, Slay to his feet again. Reynolds with a two-point field goal attempt. Right on half time. It lands just short under the bar. And now Melbourne. 
So coming to the Time tackle. Off. Bucky, Bucky. All right, just hold on. Not half time yet. Hold on a sec. Grant Atkins. We've got wants point to have a scoring. Look. Just hold on, Bucky. Just hold on a sec. Can you review that, mate? Okay, so scoring. this I'm field sure goal is going to be bar. reviewed. Look to the naked eye that it went yes, point under. Scoring, I can check it. But they're going to have a look. So just not nice. half time yet. I'm pretty sure it was short. It's from 47 metres and short. Under. Yeah. Yep. Short. So now it is half time. We can all take a breath. So much to talk about at half time. Wow. 8 0. Brisbane in front of the storm. So Finals, back. though, a little bit different. Second 40 is underway. In Brisbane. Through Keenan Pulisier gets us started for the second half. Carrigan strong in the opening 40, rising to the occasion. Hetherington standing in the tackle of Munster, playing the ball. Carrigan, his second hit up of this opening set. But Lockie, you got some news for us. Yeah, Ryan Pappenhausen back on the bench. They must have made that change at half time. Tonal Appear came on late in, in that first half. Ryan Pappenhausen went to the, the left edge. The, the, made the change at half time. He's now on the bench. Meany takes that well. I'm sure we will see Pappenhausen again. Yeah, well, that would have been a straight swap for the HIA for young Tonal Appear. I think we'll see. Pappenhausen back on the field a little bit later in the game, so he may be in the middle playing in the round the ruck. Sims. Nice bit of footwork. Wrapped up by Ricky and Walters. Soccer Solomona. Just having a little bit of an argument in back play. Not much to it. Cobo underneath this kick. Gets up to the 20. Oh, there's an error. An error from Brisbane. A little blue, a little blue in the play, the ball. They've got no challenge. Cameron. Lost that Box early. Boys in the middle. Once again, it's just a sloppy, sloppy play, the ball. So the storm get possession 20 metres out. Frustration on the face of Selvin Cobbo. What an opportunity it is early in the half for the Melbourne Storm. Plenty of chat between Hughes and Grant. Hughes feeds the scrum. Grant, Meany. Now Seve. During the first half, some strong touches from Marion Seve. Hughes drifting, eventually gets a pass to Sims. Sims wrapped up, 11 away from Brisbane's line. Big opportunity now for Melbourne. Grant, Osama Solomona. Well handled. Hetherington, Ricky, and Carrigan. Now Hughes, little kick, trying to find Katoa. Brisbane have got it through Walters. Once again, they just they rush that play at the end. Jerome Hughes trying to find an impossible hole in that defensive line of the Broncos' defence. I mean, that Ken, that's on the third tack. Yeah. I mean, that's panic, panicking yeah. football. The better option was either get tackled or play out the back. He had a number of players out the back to his right-hand side. Cobbo told to go back about half a metre to play the ball. Cameron, you've been in so many halftime addresses from Craig Bellamy. What would he have said? Hang on, before we get to that, what about the size of that talk? What a kick. Well, I think he looked quite calm, didn't he, in those pictures from the dressing sheds at halftime. I think he just would have said to his team that, look, we haven't had a whole lot of opportunities down the other end of the, with the opposition. 
and we're making it a little bit harder for ourselves by making some pretty simple mistakes. To stay, stay patient with the football, keep working through our sets, and we'll get our opportunities. I'm loving this guy here. Nelson Asada Solomon is really creating a lot of havoc. Some opportunities for Harry Grant and Cam Munster to play off the back of him. Eisenhuth. Tackled by Staggs. Strong defensive this set by Brisbane oh, Munster. Puts that one high for Xavier Coates. That's knocked on by Cobbo. Melbourne with a fresh set of six. Munster hoists that in now. No, no advantage, no so it'll come back to the original Selwyn Cobbo knock on. No Melbourne with a scrum feed. Uh, the crowd's blowing up. They <laughs> reckon it was an advantage. It was close. Salt. Now, the last time the Storm were scoreless at half time was round two against the Bulldogs. And this year, they went on to lose that game as well. Both teams went on a different trajectory throughout the, the year. Well, one went on a trajectory, the other, the other mob didn't. <laughs> Next year for them. Now Melbourne inside Brisbane's 10. Meany to play the ball. Six away from Brisbane's line. Hughes, Eisenhuth. Takes a set up. Eisenhuth plays it to Grant. Grant, Munster. Now Coates. Well handled. The Broncos defence. Corral him. Asafa Solomona. Big back line and lots of hands waving out to the right. And they go that way. No. Well, he does eventually. Grant. The Hughes. Katoa and opened up for Katoa, but it closed pretty quickly as well. Capewell with a call it a try saver. Here's the last. Grant with a deft little kick. Man picks it up for Brisbane. And he's tackled by Katoa. Very grand. He tried that little trick play. Didn't quite get it. Well, here's a penalty. Yeah, Reese Walsh, he just, he gave Katoa a, a bit of a mouthful after the, the penalty was blown. And you can see now the Storm are getting really frustrated. Yeah. That was an ordinary set. It was a really poor kick at the end. Dreadful. He hardly got anything on it. And then at the end, it's a strong tackle by Katoa, but he, he goes on with it. Yeah. Hence the penalty, and then uh, Brisbane will be attacking. So Brisbane, after that penalty, will start this set. Make sure of the halfway line, Capewell. Sims in the tackle, along with Eisenhuth. Carrigan. An enormous amount of work. The Broncos, number 13. Polisia. He's been building again. Hetherington, all energy coming off the bench. Katoa, Asafa Solomona in the tackle. Carrigan goes to Reynolds. Reynolds with a kick. It's for Cobbo. It's well taken by Coates. He had to pass it to Meany. He would have gone into touch. And he's going to be forced in goal anyway. Inspiring defence for the Broncos. And they'll get a repeat set. Oh, it's relentless. Relentless. Xavier Coates did well to get back and get that football. I don't think Reynolds really put it on the spot that he wanted to. You see this play out to the right-hand side, a two-pass kick. Xavier Coates, he actually read the play. He got back there. He offloaded, he thought he was going to go in a touch. But just look at this relentless defense and the effort from the Broncos. Not satisfied just to make that tackle two yards out from the try line. What's the bounce? Mam gets it. Tyson Smoothie on the field for Brisbane. Played four games in his short time at the Melbourne Storm, Tyson Smoothie. Oh, 
Carrigan. Man. Pipewell. Houston Wells back on the field from Melbourne. Sims in that tackle. Brisbane again heading inside. Melbourne's 20 meters zone. A try here, and they're going to be on two converted try lead. Farnworth pressing that pass. Arthur's. It's play on. And touched by a storm player. Set restart here for Brisbane. Hetherington. If it had a roof, it'll be blowing off if Brisbane can score here. The crowd, they're bang for blood. Reynolds to Walsh. 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 Walsh into the crowd. Yeah, Reese Walsh over the line. Yeah, Reese Walsh. We have not seen a lot of him tonight. But he's injected himself here. The crowd's gone bananas. They've gone nuts. Yes, the Broncos, we realise that, champ. Great support here for the, the Broncos. The Harvey Norman replay. Just keep your eyes on that man with the ball. Shimmy, your dummy, and he had the strength to get the ball over the line. Yeah, it's another great play. What about the footwork from this man and the vision? It was young Ton Mapia running out, charging out of the defensive line to try and come and cut the ball off. But Walsh, he had the presence of mind to come off that right foot, find some space back on the inside. And there's the Telstra fan camp. They are going off in the stands here, the Broncos faithful. That's their number one man. He wears the number one jersey, but he's the number one man in this town. Lockie? Yeah, well, ton of a pair, like you said, Cam. They've been doing it all night, the Melbourne Storm. They come out of that block player out the back. But they've been executing it, but this this time they did it. He did, comes out of the line, doesn't stop the man, doesn't stop the ball. And Reese Walsh, well, he'll get it there nine times out of ten. What a shot. The eyes of Reese Walsh. And there's the conversion of Adam Reynolds. Brisbane up 14-0 against a team that has beaten them 24 of the last 26 times they've played. Here's the hoodoo about to be broken. Still plenty of time. And the Storm will certainly know that. They'll be in the contest right to the 80th minute. Now join us as Australia's most exciting sport is unleashed on the sports and entertainment capital of the world. Rugby League unleashed in Vegas. Head to nrl.com slash Vegas to get your tickets now. Walsh from inside the 40. And it's a penalty, he was hit after he kicked it. It was late. Hit late? No, it was late. Sorry? No, not at the kick in general play. <laughs> I don't have that. Let's get off. I feel for it. What a captain's challenge, Bucky. Challenge. Yeah, okay. captain's challenge. He's in the kicking motions on time and he grabs it. We're over the 10 seconds. No. We're over the 10 seconds. I feel it. Is it true? We're all over the 10 seconds. Oh, too late, though. No, you get 10 seconds for a challenge. Gonski. Go on. Come forward a bit. There, there wasn't a lot in that, was there? No, there wasn't no. a lot as far as contact goes, but the way the referee described it, it was late. So, today's standard, that's late. Hetherington now for Brisbane on the back of that penalty. And what an opportunity it is for the Broncos to extend their lead. Capewell. 
Now smoothie to Reynolds, Walsh again, this time passes Ricky! Jordan Ricky! The Broncos are in Dreamlands! Well, he's going upstairs for this one, Green Atkins. Yeah, I don't know, Ty, can we chuck the three? Just make sure it gets to the line. I don't see it get to the line at the end. It might do. Well, I think, I think we did see the ball yes. in the end goal. At the end, we've just got to see how the ball gets there, whether there's a second motion. I think everything's cleared up to that point. Jordan Ricky running a Clear lovely... All aspects of play up into this point. He ducks the head. I think he gets there. It's a try. The ball's on the line. Yeah, there's a, there's a fraction of that ball on the line. That's all it takes. Jordan Ricky's right arm always remains up. It's and at this try. point yeah. here, it touches the line. We have a decision. And there it is. Another try to the Broncos. Is their attack looks pretty slick tonight, doesn't it? Harvey Norman replay again. Out to the right-hand side. This time, Reese Walsh, he just pulls his run up a little bit. No jamming defence from the Melbourne Storm. And he just picks that pass perfectly. He had an option again out the back, but he hits Jordan Ricky steaming onto the football. And doesn't he love that? <laughs> what a celebration. Telstra fan camp. They are absolutely loving it. They're going off. There's a random Titans jersey up the back there. What's that doing there? <laughs> That's one of the original ones <laughs> as well. From 0, what, 7? <laughs> it's got Prince's jersey. Yeah. Wow. They are up and about, Fatty. I know there's... Look, they're good centres, but there's no Justin Olam tonight. What do you think Justin Olam would have done to Jordan Ricky? <laughs> he played last week, Justin. He's been in, in the doldrums, but he played first grade last week, but not this week. Reynolds makes it a 20-point lead. to a 20 points to nil lead. Ryan Pappenhausen on the field. Still 25 minutes left in this contest at Suncorp Stadium. Darren Lockyer. Yeah, they're in a great position. Adam Reynolds, he, he loves this. He's 20 points up. He's just going to use his kicking game to get the Broncos home from there. But Pappenhausen, he's out there, but he's in the middle of the field. He's in that tackle as well, along with Ali Katoa. I think that was the original plan where Pappenhausen was going to take the field to play in his first stint in the middle, but not so much a Hail Mary from Craig Bellamy. He just, he's just looking to inject a little bit of spark through the middle. Beanie runs to the Brisbane 20 before he's tackled by Carrigan, Pulisier and Smoothie. Melbourne, they need a spark. Is it the man at dummy half to aim use to provide it? Kristen Welsh. Will be Cameron Munster? There he is, Munster with a pass away to Liero. Five short of halfway. Melbourne. King. Dancing a tackle, plays it on the last to Grant. Goes to Hughes. Hughes running and now kicking. And Walsh takes that one. He's tackled in mid air. He's in the air. We're coming for you. I understand, mate. I do understand, but you got him in the air. Tried to pull out of it. Reese Walsh falls awkwardly. 
Uh, uh, yeah, Craig Bellamy shaking his head. I'm not sure what Pappenhausen is supposed to do. Is he supposed to just stand back and let him hit the ground? What, what is he supposed to do? Halfway, come back, come back! Oh, oh! Capewell, metres gained. Pat Carrigan, 178 oh. metres. No, he's, he's been strong. He's been a brute. And he, his mate hasn't gone too bad either, Payne Haas. Reynolds inside the Pulisia. Good tackle down low. Key rolls over the top. Reese Walsh inside with Carrigan. Reynolds. Haas. Grant, Pappenhausen wrap up. Payne Haas. Reynolds. Reynolds. Safe the kick. Goes the pass. And tackled. It's a changeover. Back here. Hold. Tyson moves. Hold. Wait. Christian Welsh involved in a big pass there. And a tackle. And with Pat Carrigan. There's the sod of a warrior. Tonema Paya. Spent time off the field in the first half. HIA has got the tape. That cut on the head. Katoa. He's a man again. Good tackle down low. Jerome Hughes. Picks that one to Cobo. Cobo. You better watch out. He gets the ground. Stags. He's the lone try scorer in the opening half. Katani Stags. Carrigan. Tackle three. Can you get Pat? Tackle three is bleeding. Three, check guy at the back. Oh, that was the hang class. Leave the ball. I think it's Christian Welsh. A little bit earlier in the play, a couple of minutes ago. Well, Flegler's up and getting ready. They might see Pat Carrigan come from the field. He's played every minute. He's been enormous, as you mentioned before, Soldi. He's got the most metres for the Broncos. He's second most tackles as well. Pass. That man. <laughs> <laughs> Walsh, little chip over the top. It's for man. Pappenhausen has it for Melbourne. So Carrigan's come from the field. It's an HIA replacement. Flegler is on for Brisbane. Two knockbacks there by Melbourne. Xavier Coates. Son of a player at Dummy Hall. Unstuck. Grant, the uh, Sofa Solomona. Fighting with him in the tackle, reaches the halfway line. A quarter of the game left. Pappenhausen running, they let him run. Now he tries to accelerate. He pops it up the wall, Brick, they keep it alive. Seve will just stay in the field of play. Hughes, Grant. Got some numbers here, Melbourne. Beanie. That's some numbers. They needed someone just to run straight onto the ball. Oh, into the defensive line. That's what they needed. Everyone just standing around. Munster kicks. And, well, that is a very easy take for Jesse Arthurs. No, that's, that's not semi final standard though from Cam Munster. Come back, Cam. As Herbie Farmworth, he's down. Might be a little bit of an issue there with the knee. Oh, release. No, too many, too many simple errors tonight from the Melbourne Storm. Oh, as we see, one there from Flegler. Grant, it's on to a payer. Now it's with Coates. 
And Xavier Coates tackled 19 away from Brisbane's line. Is this the moment from Melbourne? They can give themselves a bit of hope for the try. And some confidence, but his Brisbane defence has been relentless. Running across field and looking to straighten and going towards the line. Liero playing it. Two away. Hughes. They cut out a soft for Solomon the pass behind Warbrick. And he had a second touch. Yeah, pulled it towards Brisbane's line. It's a knock on. Billy trying to catch his patient backwards. I think they're challenging. We've got a captain's challenge, Rocky. We're challenging the decision of knock on Melbourne challenge. Grant Atkins thought that what, even though he was facing his own goal line from way up here, he pulled it back into himself, which constitutes a knock on. Well, no, it's good. Cool. Warbrick pulls the ball towards his opponent's dead ball line, which what? is a knock on. The challenge is unsuccessful. <laughs> Can we see that again? Knock on. Oh. The whole crowd's watching, watching Craig Bell. <laughs> I mean, it looked like he did try to, to possibly pull it to himself, but it came off. It looked like it came off the tips of his fingers and went straight onto the ground. Danica, breaking news. Yes, Pat Carrigan is in the sheds at the moment. He's undergoing the head injury protocols because he has been classified as a Category Two. So if he does pass it, it does mean that he will get to play out the final few minutes of this match. Oh, against the feed, oh, scrub oh, against oh, the feed. No way. How good's that? How good is that? Oh, I haven't seen one of them since Max Krillich outhooked Arthur Mount here <laughs> in 1979. Oh, wow. It's the first time in colour television. Hughes to Sopha Solomona with an offload. And Hughes just gets there ahead of Farnworth. Oh, short side. Wells. Hands for the Melbourne Storm. Pappenhausen. Last play. 12 away. They need something. They go to Xavier Coates. Knocked back by Brisbane. That'll be a dropout. Well, he's been their target all night for their kicking. Xavier Coates. Here's the win against the head. Wow, it was Pappenhausen. He was packed down at prop. And he got that ball back. Unbelievable. You see there, well, there's plenty of Broncos players to get past with Xavier Coates. Let's go, Clock! Clock! Brandon Piakura on the field as well, too, for Brisbane. Charged three times last week, but fine three times. A bit lighter in the hip pocket. on screen what a young, great young player he is Houston Wells quarter of an hour remaining Munster just looking for options looking for ideas goes on his own not too many options for him in the end there's the Westpac red zone Soldy Storm, they've actually got more play the balls inside 20 than the Broncos for no points. Oh! Maybe a hint of a shoulder charge, maybe. Warbrick did well, actually, to stop because he lost his momentum. Right, Nelson's knocked that on. All right, knock on by Nelson to Sopha Solomona. And Brisbane are fired up. When things are going wrong, they're just going wrong. I don't know. Nelson, I think, wanted the ball, but I think. Seve actually was trying to pass it behind him. Uh, there's the hit there from Jesse Arthur. Good that's, hit. That's, that's clean. That's not a shoulder charge. Yeah, but you're right, Fatty. It is the ball here. It was behind, slightly high. I think he was trying to pass it to the, to the outside man. Hasn't been a great night for the Storm, but it's full marks to the Brisbane Broncos. They've been outstanding. This is the oh. best they've played the oh, whole season. Oh. A week off obviously did him the world of good. Well done, Kev. 
have come back fresh and look at this. Dags nearly away. The arrow hanging on. Here Kura. Lockie. It's been a really good performance, 20 nil. I, I think the coach would be more pleased about their defence, particularly on the try line. Melbourne just looked like, hadn't looked like they got any answers down there. Uh, maybe the storm were off a little bit, but I've got to give a lot of credit to the Broncos' defence on their try line. Pass playing the ball, a metre sort of halfway. Man to Capewell. That is a lovely kick, perfectly weighted. Coates takes it and he's taken straight away by Cobo and Piakura. That's an area of the game that they've done so well. Just watch their defensive line move here in numbers with speed. Their kick chase game tonight has been outstanding. 10 out of 10 for the Broncos. What has made it so hard for the Melbourne Storm tonight to even find some quality field position. Well, the last time Brisbane played a finals match was in 2019 when they were blowing off the park at Combank Stadium by the Eels. They haven't won a finals game here since 2017. That's Suncorp Stadium. Reese Walsh. But now... They can hold on the next 12 minutes, Brisbane. They'll be 80 minutes away from their first grand final appearance since 2015. Yeah. There's a mistake. Ordinary play the ball. Reese Walsh, that's their second one tonight. It's losing on, concentration at the play the ball. So, Brisbane get a rest next week. Who would they play in Roost two weeks' time? Roosters or Sharks. Okay. Uh, sorry, Melbourne. Melbourne next week. Roosters or Sharks? Melbourne next week. Melbourne next week, but in Melbourne. two weeks' time. Two weeks' time. So it'll be it'll be the winner of Canberra and the Knights. Yes. And the loser of Penrith and the Warriors. Right. We'll play. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. They'll play. Well. Yeah. They will play each other, and then the winner of that plays Brisbane. Okay. It's no clearer to me. Clear but... as mud. <laughs> <laughs> But that, so they can't play Melbourne again, right? Well, not until unless the they both final. play the, in the okay. grand final. Sweet. Oh, Pappenhausen, quick hands away. It's with Coates. Oh, forward. Penalty. Obstruction. Oh, obstruction. Yeah, Adam Reynolds. He just someone over, mate. He gets felled in the play. Please don't put the camera on... Um, <laughs> Craig Bellamy. Oh, no. You have to now. And now Xavier Coates is down in the corner. Go back to He's actually had a good game tonight, Xavier Coates. Been just about Melbourne's best. Well up. And in that yep. chat with the referee, he actually saw Adam Reynolds and a lip read. He just said, I'm too smart. And there's, yeah. well, that doesn't look good for Xavier Coates. No. He's grabbing at the right ankle there. He went down awkwardly. Wow, he looks in a bit of pain there. So that was just a regulation tackle by Katoni Staggs. This will be a big blow for the Melbourne Storm. They go on to lose tonight and then they lose their main winger in Xavier Coates. What will be a sudden death clash next week? Against either the Sharks or the Roosters for the Melbourne Storm next week. It'll be a Friday night in Melbourne. Now, the Warriors heading to the foot of the mountains to take on the minor premiers. The Warriors with a top four finish. So it's Penrith against the New Zealand Warriors tomorrow at 3.15, straight after our NRLW go, go, go. double header. Yeah. Once he's off, send him on Penrith be the Warriors. We'll have it all for you here on Nine's Wild World of Sports. That is not a sight you want to see. Uh, that's uh, that's not great at all. 
That could be season done for Xavier Coates. And that's sold in the wound of the Melbourne Storm club and their fans. No, I hope it's not his Achilles. Between the lines. That's a long-term one, that one. Here, Kura for Brisbane. Ten minutes remaining at Suncorp Stadium. Flegler. Reynolds. Haas. Man. Farnworth is half an opening. Still alive is Farnworth. Still going, Farnworth. Oh, oh, Grant Atkins called held and he was still moving it's forward. Yeah, it looks like there might have been a bit of a head clash between two four. Melbourne players. Four, sorry, mate. They're trying to make Let's a tackle. Four, They're man. both down. Concern for them. Here it is. Bang. Oh. Katara and Seve, breaking news down to you, Danica. Yes, yeah, some good news for the Broncos. Pat Carrigan has passed his head injury assessment. He's just out here on the bike at the moment. They may put him back into the action. He still has a few minutes left on the clock. As we see, some of these Storm players looking likely they'll have to come from the field also for head injuries. You know, it's important too, Danica, with a number of players here may be forced to the fields. Yeah, I don't know who Just don't forget the 11-day compulsory stand-down, depending on the category of the concussion. Seve coming from the field. Farnworth to play the ball for Brisbane here. On tackle four, we're back underway. Flegler. Wrapped up. Release four. Go. Oh, wait. Reynolds. Little kick. Pappenhausen picks it up. Oh, Tony Staggs is reeled away from that one. He got knocked as he went to chase that kick. So he's in a bit of strife. Gets to his feet now. Oh, oh. Sofa Solomona. Tackle down low, Pierre Kura. Quick play the ball by Osama Solomona. Munster. Back to Grant. Coming Kamita. Wrapped up, 15 short of halfway. Oh, Harry Grant passes to Katani Stokes. Wow. Just about caps off a disastrous knock for the Storm. It's been a flogging. They haven't been at their best, but Brisbane, Brisbane played them into the ground. That's what they've done. They've just run straight, hard, used the ball when they had to. Adam Reynolds' kicking game was outstanding. 10 out of 10 performance tonight by the Bronx. Trent Liero coming from the field, so that's... Two Storm players off the field with HIAs. They've lost Xavier Coates. Tom Eisenhuth coming back on. Got any boots, Ken? They might need you. Uh, uh, oh, no. Wow. I don't think so. No, it's, no, it's been a... Pending. It's been an awful night for the Melbourne Storm. I think Craig Bellamy will be very disappointed with their performance, but... You do have to give credit to the Broncos. They, they have been outstanding. And they've actually forced, you know, part of the way that the Melbourne Storm have played tonight, they've been forced to play that way because of the intent and the aggression that the Broncos have played with. They, they have played that style of football from the first whistle to this point right now, Fatty. They've been so good. Ricky. One of the Broncos' try scorers tonight. Plays the ball, 13 away from the line. 
leg lock. Pappenhausen. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Pappenhausen. Pappenhausen. It's a lower leg. Yeah. Oh no! He's just in the ruck. Oh, hang on. Like, I think uh, I think this is an awful injury oh, to his lower yeah, leg. I think it's broken. Oh no! Thomas Flegel looked at and he had to look away. So this is awful, awful. Well, you can see Grant Atkins' reaction as well to yeah. the, the referee. I this think, isn't good. I think Pappenhausen's coming in to get involved in this tackle, and I think it may have been a bit his teammate collided with the lower leg. Well, Ryan Pappenhausen receiving attention. Brisbane up 20 points to nil. This is very concerning for Ryan Pappenhausen. Well documented what he has gone through to get himself back onto the field. Doctors told him he wouldn't be able to play again after that sickening knee injury last year. He's done well to get himself back on the field and now he's receiving treatment for a lower leg injury. Tomorrow, NRL finals action continues live and free here on nine. Can the Warriors cause an almighty upset at the foot of the mountains against the back-to-back -back premiers, Penrith. Coverage kicks off from 3.15 tomorrow right here on your home of finals footy, Nines Wide World of Sports. Medicab coming on the field for Ryan Pappenhausen. Everyone inside Suncorp Stadium, and there's over 50,000 here tonight, showing a lot of concern for Ryan Pappenhausen. Well, this is how the night unfolded. It was Katani Stag scoring the only try in the first half to beat four Melbourne Storm players on his way to opening the scoring for Brisbane. It was 8 0 at half time, and then in the second half, this was the first try of the second half. Some Reese Walsh magic extending Brisbane's lead before Jordan Rickey scored Brisbane's third try of the night. Yeah, it's been all their right hand side, hasn't it, Salty? That have really penetrated that defensive line of the Melbourne Storm. Reese Walsh heavily involved in those. Last two tries, scored one himself, set the other one up. Danica, I might mention there's around 50,000 here tonight. It's been a, a terrific atmosphere. Yeah, it's just over 50,000, in fact, Salty. It's 50,197 in attendance here tonight. You get the feeling that Brisbane, well, they are absolutely loving this. You can feel the whole vibe around the city as well. They're extremely excited about where their team can get to and how far they'll get to get in September footy. And we even saw the Mexican wave happening a bit earlier as well. They're loving it, Sue. Absolutely. Be back here in a fortnight's time for a grand final qualifier. Now, Sunday afternoon, elimination finals footy continues in Newcastle. The Navy Castrians will be hanging from the rafters at McDonald Jones Stadium as the Knights host their first elimination final since 2006 on home turf, taking on the Raiders. 3.15 Sunday, live and free, right here on Nines, Wide World of Sports. Well, that's going to be enormous, isn't it? The Newcastle Knights, nine in a row, Fatty looking yeah. for ten. They're playing great football. They've been oh. magnificent. And they, I think they've got the best defence mm. of the top eight team in the last nine weeks or the last six weeks, whatever it is. They're defending really well. And 
Yep. Look, it all depends on Pong as their star, right? But he's got plenty of backup. Plenty of Bradman Best. Dominic Young on the wing. What yeah, a star he is. Yeah, Phoenix Crossland playing exceptional football at the moment as well. And imagine that crowd oh, Sunday. At home. Oh, how good. Oh, look at that. Craig yeah, Bellamy. That's a despair. He's not thinking about the scoreline no, now. He's, he's not thinking about I mean, no player. player deserves to have what's happened to him again tonight. Ryan Pappenhausen. Dreadful. You know, when you think about the the work that Ryan Pappenhausen has gone through, you know, the amount of hours rehabbing that knee from last year, it's 14, 15 months of work. Yeah. He's just got back. He's only four games back. Would he be on the, the green whistle? Would he have one of them? Oh. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. Yeah. yeah. It looked nasty. He was down low for that right leg, I think it was, down low near the ankle. It looked like what was, you know, we're not doctors, but it looked like a broken leg down low. Just awful, awful scenes here for Ryan Pappenhausen. Well, the crowd applauding. And wishing Ryan Pappenhausen all the best. And look, this is a difficult situation, you know, particularly for the Melbourne Storm players. They'll be feeling for their, their well, their number one, the guy that's played more in that jersey than Nick Meany, but they still got a game to finish, even though they're down by 20. They've still got seven and a half minutes to go. Well, they've got some defending to do now. As play continues after that lengthy stoppage. Hikuru with a juggle. Set restart. Fresh set of six for Brisbane. Bam. Haas. Payne Haas offloads. Flegler. Hedrington. He'll play it eight away from the line. Legler, Reynolds, lovely ball, Cobo dives over in the corner and Brisbane are off to a grand final qualifier. Yeah, a little bit of icing on the cake, lovely stuff and we've had some wonderful players tonight but none better than the king of finals, Adam Reynolds. He's their go-to man, he's the star, he's the organiser, the Harvey Norman replay. Look at that for a pass. That's a semi-final pass. And Cobo waltzes in to wrap it up. Yeah, we've seen that play before this year, haven't we, with that lob pass over the top. Reese Walsh has opted to go for that play a couple of times as well, particularly down this right-hand side to Cobo. But they've just they've run rings around that left-hand side defence for the Melbourne Storm. When they've jammed, they've been able to find space back on the inside. They've given Katoni Staggs one-on-one -on -one opportunities with his opposite number. Yeah. And that time, the whole side, left side of the Melbourne Storm, they all rushed up. So Adam Reynolds said, well, I'm just going to lob it over the top to my man Cobbo. There's been some wonderful variation in their attack tonight. Such a complete game of football. There's only been a couple of blemishes on their game tonight with a couple of unforced errors. But besides that, it's been... Very, very clinical. Yeah, all four of their tries down their, their right-hand side that they attack. It's been the side for them tonight. Reynolds from touch. And off the upright. No goal. Oh, got it. Got it. Went over. Got it. What a kick. Got it on a string. Now, 7 o'clock tomorrow night, it's do or die rugby league for the Sharks and the Roosters. El elimination blockbuster live from Shark Park. Get your popcorn ready. This one is going to be epic. Don't miss it. Live and free on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Sorry, hang on, mate. What? Hang on. It's that exciting tomorrow night. What Paul Vaughton is even thinking of travelling. Oh, why is he? Just stay there. Are you? Sorry. Are you going, are you going down for these trains? No, no. I've got, Let everyone uh, else carry uh, the load, are you? We've <laughs> <laughs> got 20 people coming around for a barbecue tomorrow night, so I'm the chef. What's your specialty? Sausages.
<laughs> I'm a big sausage man. Kim loves a sausage as well. <laughs> Pain us. Oh, I'm glad I brought that up. Oh You've got to behave. We want to go to Vegas. <laughs> you know what? Don't drag us down. I reckon we're a chance. I reckon <laughs> we're now the C team. By then we'll be the V team. V team. <laughs> v for Vegas team. Stags. Four minutes left. Reynolds, the conductor of the orchestra. He's been brilliant tonight. The Bronco, number seven. Munster. Well, Cameron, from a Melbourne point of view, He's produced some rabbits out of the hat. Craig Bellamy in September in the past. This will be one of his biggest challenges now, getting the team up for next Friday night, a date with either the Sharks or the Roosters. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, they're down on troops. They've lost a couple tonight, a couple of outside backs in particular. And he's just going to have to turn them around, get them home to Melbourne, review this quite quickly, and then move on with the next game plan. Oh, no. Here we go. Innocent. Reynolds. It's Reynolds. Does he have the pace? Here they come. Reynolds testing out the hamstring. Oh, I reckon he's dropped it. Oh, did he? He's looking straight up the big screen. He's dropped it. <laughs> oh, no. Coming into one. The poor fella, the little trotters. They no just trial. couldn't get there. Three check touchline. Look at him. What are they? The, the little trotters. The trotters. He's running on empty. And he reaches out to score. Oh. And. He's dropped No it. try. Out of the hand. No pressure. He deserved that. Adam Reynolds loses possession of the ball. Oh, he doesn't even see what point this is. Where that would have capped it off, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Who was the chaser? Jerome that Hughes. Was Jerome Hughes. Yes, yeah, yeah, seven yeah. on seven. Great chase, Jerome. Adam Reynolds loses the ball over the try line. We have a decision. So it's a 20 metre restart. Danica, breaking news. Yes, this is devastating news for Ryan Pappenhausen. We have had confirmation from the Melbourne Storm medical team that he has broken his ankle. Uh, but we are hearing early reports that it was a compound fracture as well, which is just devastating considering his run with injuries of late. It is horrible, horrible news. Yeah, it is Danica, and important to point out as well that in case you're wondering at home why, why we weren't showing any replays, uh, just too sickening to see. You even saw the reaction of those around the injury. So all you have to know is that it wasn't good. Now Tarek Sims. Sims on Walsh, Reese Walsh. Brisbane have never kept Melbourne scoreless. Can they do it now? They're under the pump in the last two minutes. The Storm haven't been held scoreless in three seasons since 2020. They played the Eels in round 15. So will it stay zero? Munster kicking across field for Will Warbrick. Now it's taken by Jesse Arthurs. Well, they've had all the answers tonight, the Bronx. Been a magnificent night for them. And they'll have another uh, a nice, easy week, I reckon, this week. Freshen up again for what will be a qualifying final. Next game they play, there's a lift there. Next top game they play will... We do and die to see who gets into the grand final. And well done to their coach, Kevin Walters. Well, they're going to change from this time last year oh. where they they lost about eight in a row and nine in a row and, and missed out in the semis. That's a 40-20 yes. from Tyson Smoothie. 40 what a kick. Tyson, Tyson Smoothie. Oh, yeah, smile, Kevin. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Vanilla, good on you, champ. 
Vanilla smoothie. Is that your go-to? That's what he is this week. <laughs> Hetherington. Well, there were many that questioned Kevin Wilder's appointment as coach, but hasn't he proved a lot of doubters wrong? 80 minutes away from a grand final appearance. And Will Warbrick plucks that one out of the air. He's just handled himself so well, Kevin Walters. No, he's been terrific. He's had a great year coaching. It's still the Kev that we all know and love. He just lay back. Nothing seems to phase him. Down to the last four seconds. Last play of the game. Ricky kicks it into the crowd. Brisbane have broken the hoodoo. They've beaten the Melbourne Storm, and they're 80 minutes away from a grand final appearance. The Broncos are back as a force in September. Full time at Suncorp Stadium. The Broncos have defeated the Storm. 26 points to nil.